Hello and welcome to the Polaris Express, an adventurous survival game led by the stars in the sky. The start screen introduces the player to the game and gives the player time to prepare to survive the upcoming obstacles. The game opens with the player being spawned in the middle of a terrain surrounded by mountains, although I quickly had to move away from the middle to get away from enemies. The first person camera perspective allows the player to explore the map from a ground level view. I am currently moving around using the arrow keys, but you can also use WASD um, in order to move around the terrain. And in order to change camera perspective, you must use the mouse. When the player left clicks, you can see that a sword is being um, swung. It is your weapon, and you can use a sword to attack enemies. If you have not already noticed, one of the health bars is deteriorating. That's the health bar of hunger. Um, we are quickly approaching a sphere which represents food, um, and this must be ran into in order to satisfy the player's hunger, and if the hunger goes down too much, then the player will die and you will have to restart the game. The next portion of the demo will approach some enemies. There are three kinds of enemies passive in white, scared in gray, and aggressive in green. Um, if you run into a passive enemy, it will ignore you, your health will be fine. The scared run away from you, again, your health will be fine. Um, the aggressive enemy comes after you, and if you run into it, you will see your health go down. I am able to spot enemies from far away because they have health bars above their heads. Now I'm demonstrating what it's like running to a passive enemy. Yes, they're an obstacle, but they will not hurt you. Um, their health can deteriorate, though, if you hit them. I am approaching the scared enemy to show how we interact with one another. When I run into the scared enemy, my health's not affected, neither is theirs, because I'm not hitting them with a weapon, and they tend to run away from me and are not as annoying as an obstacle as the other two. On the other hand, the aggressive enemy follows you around the entire game. I quickly approach and run into the aggressive enemy on purpose in order to show how my health deteriorates when it hits me. Currently, my sword shows zero damage when I hit it against an enemy. When I ran into the cylinder, I collected a dagger which will cause 10 times the damage um, when I hit it on an enemy. And when I collect a sword and craft it by pressing E, it will show 100 times the damage when I um, hit it against an enemy of any kind. Now I'm displaying what it is like hitting an enemy with the dagger. Um, this decreases the health by 10%. I am going to try to hit the passive enemy because it is easiest and does not move away that much and does not move, does not try to kill me as well. Um, you can see that the health bar goes down a little, but it doesn't completely die or go away. Upgrading your weapon and picking up the second box and creating the sword will kill an enemy completely. I hit the passive enemy and it just disappeared. Purposefully, I have let the aggressive enemy attack as well as not replenishing my food supply. Therefore, I will die. And you can restart by clicking the button in the center of the screen. The stars guide the user to the winning box. Um, and we want to walk into a diamond, aka a star and they will guide you throughout the map to where you're supposed to be. I just ran into one and I'm looking in the sky and all around to see where I'm supposed to go next. I see this star in the sky right there and I want to approach it because I know it's leading me in the right direction. I see another box right after it and I approach it and am met with a screen that says you survived you will now restart the game over because you've won. Users will most likely have to pick up multiple stars in order for them to create a path to the win box. I am very familiar with the game and I recognized the star path immediately and got lucky thinking the win, back, the win box was the next star. Um, therefore, the guiding stars will lead you to the winning of the game as long as you have an adequate amount of health and you have survived the enemies. There are quite a few features you will see in our final submission that are not present here. We want the daylight to damage the player in true apocalyptic fashion. Additionally, we want to expand the underground terrain in order to have a home base type place to retreat during daylight hours. Aesthetic features fitting the apocalyptic style will be implemented as well. I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of our effective prototype implementation of our core features of the Polaris 
express.